So, I decided to look into the Oral-B or Brown's newest creation, the IO series. And yeah, from my first impressions, I yeah, purchased some of the uh, defect uh, toothbrushes from the uh, eBay. And from my first impressions is that um, it has few weak spots. So one of them is the plastic uh, head. As you can see, I saw some broken ones as people tend to drop it. And another one is of uh, the, the toothpaste buildup in here. It's not critical because Brown has quite a, let's say, in the older uh, uh, Genius uh, series, uh, they have the same uh, um, rubber seal and it holds quite good. It's of course, it, it tends to break as well if you have too much toothpaste in there and everything. And this toothbrush tends to get much more uh, toothpaste inside as, as the older ones. So this could be a problem as well. But let's say uh, this uh, third, not, not that big problem. The bigger one that I saw is I saw quite a lot of uh, toothbrushes with ripped off heads. Not sure how this is done or, or, or what influences it. Uh, I will try to make few uh, um, uh, magnification shots of this as uh, so you can see it's in principle it's just uh, uh, welded, uh, I think TIG, TIG welded uh, on just on two places. So it's not the strongest uh, weld from itself. And yeah, on in the magnification uh, view, I believe we can see. Uh... Okay, and here you can see the rubber seal uh, uh, from close up. How uh, it is fixed to the housing, um, the place that you need to open up, and the drive itself. And. Here I wanted to show you a close-up of the place where it is welded to the drive mechanisms. As you can see, it's quite a small part. And here is the shaft. As you can see, it has only two places, few millimeters uh, welded metal. The places where it's welded and Maybe someone can suggest uh, in, in comments uh, what is the better way to take off the head. Is it just to rip it off or I was thinking maybe someone is turning them and, and that's why it's uh, coming off. But yeah, this is one and um, that it's being ripped off from, from the place where it's welded to the electromagnet. Second one what I saw is quite interesting that it, this, this magnetic head is being ripped off from, from the shaft itself. So this I think is, uh, is, is not sure if it will be seen, but uh, it can, maybe I will try to make a microscope uh, with uh, shots. It's in principle epoxy glued. And here is the close-up of the epoxy gluing. And uh, yeah, some pan through the drive itself. Maybe someone needs some 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 details just to see. It's quite a lot of spot welded metal, so in principle heavy, very difficult to repair. One surprising thing is this magnet uh, that is placed into the plastic. Not sure what does it do. So yeah, if you have some suggestions, leave it in comments. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, the glue didn't bond it quite good or, or yeah, something is going on. I don't have too much of these brushes, so I cannot make any uh, conclusions about it. But yeah, uh, let's, I will show you some easy fixes. Uh, yeah, this, when, when the head is being ripped off, I believe it's in principle practically impossible to repair. In principle, you would need to get the whole head and and replace it 
I hope it's in, sh in the shot. Not sure if it's, again my camera is not not the best to view the view what I'm filming. So excuse me for for some bad shots, but yeah, uh, yeah. Not sure how uh, available will be the uh, replacement heads will be. Uh, this is to be seen. Uh, but for now, I haven't saw any uh, replacement parts. Maybe I, someone should try to contact Brown and see if it's possible to order on the spare head because what I like about these brushes is of course this magnetic drive it's much superior to the to the older one uh, uh, gear driven and um, how easy it is to repair uh, and how easy it is to disassemble it's it's really really extremely easy so let's say these two uh, so to disassemble the toothbrush you have to take your charger just align the three knobs onto the bottom and just twist it and do counterclockwise. And by doing so, uh, you will uh, untwist this cap and then slowly push something uh, thin inside it, something like a, a pick or, or just go with, with a nail slowly and you will be able to separated as you can see here as well as there's a lot of uh, toothpaste build up this uh, this 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 surprised me quite uh, strongly uh, okay so on, on the older one older toothbrushes the toothpaste build up is on the on the bottom side uh, uh, quite strong as well but uh, problem usually is on the upper side and okay one more thing is about the water damage. Philips uh, toothbrushes tend to get quite uh, quite more uh, water damage, or, or I saw much more uh, water damage to Philips uh, toothbrushes, um, but uh, Brown was quite uh, uh, quite good with, with the seal, and uh, this this seal seems to be uh, superior to this one. Okay, so we take off the bottom one, and yeah, okay, one more other thing, what I saw, uh, I saw a few water damaged toothbrushes, and it seems that people try to poke this hole, so it's, uh, we will see, I will take out the toothbrush, and we will see there is a seal, or, or I believe it is a, something like a Gore-Tex, or, or some uh, membrane membrane that uh, lets the water build up, uh, evaporate through this hole. So, promised to show the, the seal that is from this hole. As you can see, there is some, some kind of seal, micro mesh or something. I believe it is for the humidity to escape the toothbrush itself. Clean it, uh, how do you say it, carefully with, with uh, some uh, needle or something. Uh, it should be free from toothpaste, but don't poke through it completely because then you will have an open hole where water can get in. Okay, we remove the bottoms, bottom top cap. Then what we want to do is from the back side, I push a little bit with the finger and with the Simple screwdriver, just lift this this part from the side, and this will separate very easily. I believe now it is being held by the broken plastic, as usually you just have to release it a little bit from the, from this side, and then from that side it comes off very easily. Okay, and that's it. You just press it out. And this was, again, this seal seems to be superior to the Philips. But again, if you get mold on this seal, uh, it's not replaced, or, or a tear in it, it's not replaceable. And, and that's it. You have to throw out the whole uh, housing. As with the Philips one, you just replace the seal. So. Not sure what is the better way, but yeah, it seems that uh, Oral-B doesn't have that much problem with water damage through through seal. Okay, so we have uh, the brush itself. 
And yeah, other thing that I liked is that Brown trusted itself to insert a simple uh, battery without soldering it in. Uh, it's the same as the Philips uh, Sony here uh, batteries. You just don't have these uh, mm, solder uh, contacts and it seems that this battery is 680, I believe, milliampere hours. The ion, let's see. Yes, 680 milliampere hours. Uh, brown has a uh, more capacity. It's 740, 740 milliampere hours. And yeah, uh, but size is exactly the same. So if this battery goes bad, uh, you can order the Philips one and it will fit. Okay, then what we have done. Okay, um, in principle, what we have, we have um, this um, halo ring. To remove it, you have to insert something something like this uh, I, I do it because we have here one uh, knob from inside that holds it in place so we have to go behind it push the knob down and then we can it will be uh, yeah, not, not very easy because it's uh, pushed in with the plastic but it's easy to remove it Okay, this is out. Then we have then we have this pin. Just push it through. And we have then what's left is these two soldered uh, contacts for the for the electromagnet and that's it and then the whole uh, drive mechanism slides out so really really impressive design very easy to replace the whole head if you get one so that's thumbs up for from me to brown um, yeah, charging coil is soldered on these two points as well you just desolder it and you can remove the coil and then uh, two points for the uh, battery contacts uh, to, if you dissolve, dissolve these uh, the whole motherboard comes out so really impressive i really like it uh, and then what we have is we have these two screws i believe it's a t8 t9 t9 torx with or I will I use T9 Torx. Not sure if it's uh, maybe a little different uh, head, but it's possible to st holding strongly to unscrew it. You have some uh, Loctite, of course, on the on the screws, as there are a lot of vibrations. So I encourage to use this as well. And yeah, very strong magnet. Okay, and then when we unscrew these screws, we can lift the whole, or, okay, it lifts, it, it rotates, but don't rip it off, because that's a bad approach. What you need to do is separate this, this part, push it down, it, it holds quite strongly in place, but, yeah, when you push it down, you can lift off this plastic cap. And yeah, that's how it is, uh, it is to replace it, if you have some donor uh, boards or something, so that's it. You just slide it on top, screw it in, clip in everything in place and that's it. But I still wanted to talk about this, this part. As you can see, it's, it gets quite messy, so yeah, again, if you want to clean it, very truly clean it, then this is how much you have to disassemble it to get to, to the seal. And not sure uh, will it be 
as good after after a few years uh, will it hold will it not will, will it not tear but as i said uh, what i saw from these toothbrushes it gets much more toothpaste inside as as the older ones so yeah uh, as for the genius x problems uh, where we have this uh, fuse problem it seems that uh, on these brushes they have the a little bit different design uh, fuse this uh, on genius x it was a well, golden pp something but uh, yeah this one is different so hopefully it will not be uh, as as affected as the genius series uh, toothbrush and, and it's uh, fused at those bad and and needs to be replaced okay yeah, I think this is everything what I wanted to talk about this brush. In principle, I like the improvements. Uh, there are a few weak spots, but yeah, if brown will not be few scars with, with spare parts, I believe it's a quite successful brush. Uh, screen is, of course, uh, something what someone likes, someone dislikes, but it's nice and... and uh, yeah, overall build quality is very, very good. Just for someone to have a closer look. Yeah, uh, other thing is that in principle, because of this, this design that we have welded in uh, here and a big head on here, it's not sure if it's in principle it's not it's impossible to replace this seal uh, you have to replace complete drive mechanisms it could maybe possible to somehow remove this this epoxy then you could slide off the head and uh, exchange the, this this seal but uh, yeah i believe this will be quite a difficult task as well uh, but yeah again i I am quite surprised to see some brushes with a ripped off head. This is like this. Yeah. So this head is ripped off from, from this part where it is epoxy glued. So not sure why this is happening. It would be interesting to get some of your comments. If you experience something like this or, or know some, some have some experience uh, why this is happening, are there some spare parts, please leave some comments, I try to answer all of them, and yeah, stay tuned for the next video, thanks!